All right, today I'm here in front of my power wall. This is my DIY battery, which I use to power my home. I wanna test this piece of equipment here. This is a grid tie inverter. So let's check it out. So this is a 1000 watt grid tie inverter. It's a cheap Chinese inverter that you can find in Amazon. I have the DC connected here. It's going uh, through this little meter here, right? I wanna check the voltage and I wanna check how much energy is putting back into the grid. This is the grid here. This this goes to a uh, you know, circuit in my house. Then this is the battery that is going to be powered this thing right here. It's only, this side and these so about 30 i don't know maybe 15 of these packs right here they're hoverboard batteries that's what we bought back in the day 10s it's so about 36 volts nominal uh this is what i'm using here to measure the uh energy this is on the dc side 40 volts so i've been using it a little bit so uh, fully charged is 42 volts so i'm down a little bit let's turn this guy on and see how efficient it is. It's supposed to, it says it does a thousand watts. Let's see if it does a thousand watts when you put 36 volts on the DC side from a battery or from uh, solar. Here we go, we'll turn it on. It kind of blinks a little bit for a little, you know, for a few seconds. And then you go to the DC side and there we go. Starts putting three amps five amps 300 watts okay so it's ramping up uh the battery the battery voltage is uh look at that it's sagging a bit All right 39.95 okay so it's pulling on the dc side is pulling 1.2 kilowatts so 1200 watts let's see what on the AC side. So on the AC side is doing 8.3 8.3 amps, which equals about a thousand watts. Uh, it keeps counting the energy which is putting into the grid, which is cool, I guess. So 59, 61 hours so far, and you can feel that it's starting to get warm. Like right here, you can see that there's there's one of those MOSFETs here. It does have a fan, and I guess it takes a little while for that fan to activate. Let's see how long. So the problem with these are that we're running it at peak right now, and nothing really likes running at peak, right? It's like your car, uh, if it does 150 miles an hour, you know, it'll reach that that speed but if you are always trying to run it at 150 miles an hour it's not gonna last very long right so so stuff is really designed not to run at peak they usually have a peak rating and then the continuous rating it's much lower than that so let's see what's happening so see minutes into it right two minutes into it already um it's already tapering down 985 yeah so it's tapering down uh, I guess I'm going to wait and see until it, the fan starts. I, the way I want to use these inverters is just to run while my AC unit is on. And I'm going to run enough of these units to offset the usage. You know, my AC unit pulls about four to 5,000 watts when it kicks on. When it kicks on at the very first, it kicks the most energy, around five, almost 6,000 watts, and then it tapers down, and then it sits tapering down for like 10 minutes, and then after that, it shuts off because then the house cools down. And then once the house warms up again, then, you know, in another 10, 15 minutes, then it kicks on again. So that's the duty cycle of my AC unit, and I want these to turn on whenever the AC turns on and draw that energy out of the batteries. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, 
this is this is warm now. Warm, warm. Let's see the cables here. Yeah, these cables can carry eight amps, no problem. Seven amps at this point. So it'll do a thousand watts, right? Hopefully it'll do a thousand watts uh, for ten minutes continuous. Uh, I probably am gonna have to run an external fan so it doesn't blow up, right? Okay. Okay, so the fan is going here and then it shoots the air out of here. So I'm have it on the carpet here, it's probably not the best, right? Uh, but I'm gonna experiment with that. But there we go. This cheap grid tie inverter works at 36 volts uh, for around 40 volts, right? That's, but you know, 36 nominal. It it'll do a thousand watts for about 10 minutes, or you know, it'll do a thousand watts for the first minute, and then after that, kind of tapers. So there we go. There's 50 watts that it's lost. And it's five minutes into this test. So, yeah, you probably lose about 100 watts in 10 minutes. So you'll start, like, if you put six of these, you'll start at 6,000. But then you'll end up at, like, 5,400 or something at the end of 10 minutes. There it is. There's my AC unit just kicked on. All right. Okay. So there we go. Here you can see uh, the typical cycle of my AC unit uh, right at the peak here is about 5,000 watts and then this last one here is when I have the unit on and is about a thousand watts less about for 4,300 watts or something like that and so definitely with five or six of these we'll definitely be able to cancel out the energy that is coming off of the grid to be able to run the AC unit for those 10 minutes that remains on. All right, I'm about to try the 12 volt or 10 to 30 volt version of this guy with five cells. One, two, three, four, five cells. We'll see how much it pulls. Okay, turn it on. Let's see how much amperage. This is lower voltage so it should put more amps 10 amps 17 amps and we got 33 amps <laughs> whoa so it went more than 40 amps at OE there it is 10 woo okay all right, I disconnected it because these cables can't do much more than that. Let's, let's just check. Let me change the setting here to the 400 and then DC and then do it again. Boom. So these cables are, they could do that for a small amount of time, right? But. This connector should do 60 amps, which is about, I think, what this thing is going to see. Come on. 300 watts on the DC side. 37, 38, 40 amps. Ooh, 50, 59 amps. There we go, 59 amps thousand watts 780 amps into the AC okay so yeah not I mean actually I thought they would get warmer faster what is this uh, this is 12 gauge but this is high temperature silicon cable, so 
this is high quality cable you know okay so at 18 volts 20 volts this guy puts out thousand amps there you go. and it's tapering down now to 54 amps wow okay all right that's what that was test okay thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys in the next video okay